Hey, what up, decisive marketers? I think one of those tools that I don't actually review much in my channel is blogging tools, and I'm so excited to bring one to you today. It's called Quick Blog, and why Quick Blog is a little bit different. Um, I did talk about Swish Inc in my channel, but um, with Quick Blog, you can actually embed the entire blog onto a uh website itself so you can embed it onto your wordpress uh, website you can embed it onto a landing page builder so if you are building simple and quick sites with landing page builders you can actually make use of quick blog to add a blog feature into the website itself so uh, before I dive into quick blog be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in quick blog so we you know it's a very clean interface um, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to jump into the blog settings and I'm going to show you how to set it up very very quickly so uh, the first thing you will see that uh, there's two do uh, there's two of these uh, block codes right here and what you want to be doing is just to copy this code and paste it into um, let's say I am using swipe pages right here which is a landing page builder all I need to do is to insert Okay, insert the HTML code block, right? So you just click on this, right? You can just drag and drop this uh, into the landing page builder, and you have this uh, code block right here. Just paste it in here, which I've already done so, right? And then uh, you want to copy this wherever you want the block to show within the page itself. So I have pasted it just together, uh, both codes together. So, but if you want to have maybe some images in between before you show the block itself, then you know you can insert a new HTML code block uh, later down the landing page uh, itself. So this is how it looks like. Okay, right. Uh, so it's very clean, very nice. Uh, they have a nice search bar right in the middle as well. Okay, and you can also embed it onto your WordPress website if you want to do so. Uh, firstly, bef uh, what I would recommend is that you make use of a um, empty template, right? So you use a template that you know doesn't have uh, headers and footers is what I would recommend so I selected the Elementor canvas that we have right here and you can then paste the code in this is how it looks like right here on uh, my WordPress website okay right so uh, simple to install uh, and then you can grab the RSS feed as well um, if you want to right and of course you can also choose to have quick block to host your blog for you right so it quick block would actually provide you a page to host your blog right so all you need to do is fill in the information and uh, the uh, quick block would actually provide you a page to host your blog right so next is the layout setting so you can actually set your entire blog title URL uh, headings right so your SEO headings your SEO description your time zone how many posts you want to show per page and CSS URL and custom CSS code right here and you can also set uh, you know some of these uh, UI settings right so your blog post columns your where do you want to show the images your blog main image your blog post search right whether you want to search bar or not so if I turn this off okay you will see that the search bar has uh, been removed right so uh, so pretty much this is where you set this up and then you know if you want to have a navigation uh, bar somewhere and um, right so these are the settings right here and then you can also set up your buttons right so this, this is my button right here right okay so you can set that up uh, within uh, the button settings right here where you want to place the button what's the color right and uh, the shape so maybe you want to have rounded edges so let's 
So if I change this, then the button uh, changes, right? Okay, so uh, and then if you want to use share this for your social media sharing, you can uh, insert the property ID right here. So this is a integration, right? And then um, if you want to, you can also import your blog via Google Sheets or CSV file, right? So one thing that is missing, I think that um, Quick Block should have maybe some kind of uh, importing features from Medium and WordPress. Uh, that would be great okay or other block tools right okay so once we have that uh let's jump into you know this category setting so this is where you set up your block categories right you pretty much put in just this information your name the category name slug the label title uh, label color text color and so on and then uh, you can invite your team members in here okay so you can create a team and invite them and your account settings so um, this will be like your accounts right so you can add multiple accounts so with quick block uh, they have a uh, with quick block you you know with their plan they actually allow you uh, to have like three different blocks right Be, uh, so you can actually create three different accounts within quick block itself right so uh, and they can switch between them so you can create three different blocks and then uh, these are the integration settings so they work with Shopify and uh, this cast right here okay so I think that they definitely need to beef up the integrations uh, for the blog itself let me just kind of show you how uh, a blog post kind of looks like okay so this is how it looks like um, I think that they should also have um some social media sharing buttons that is inbuilt within quick block and also um have some uh open graph tags that uh, so that when we share our blocks uh that are on quick block it will show up nicely within the uh link preview as well right so you have uh agency features as well which i kind of missed out so there is an agency setup so you can actually pay a fee and uh, have a white label add-on and this white label add-on will then allow you to change the you know the branding right here it says quick block so you can change it to your own uh, so that you don't have to I mean you, you can actually resell this uh, as a service for your own clients okay so we're going to jump into blog post right here okay and I'm going to edit this post so that you can see what's going on, right? So the editor, you have a featured image. I uploaded this one right here. Your author, uh, category names, uh, sorry, the categories that it belongs to, the related posts. So uh, you can have post suggestions in the blog uh, itself. And uh, of course, this is your draft scheduled live. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you have created a blog with WordPress, you will see something like this, right? And then the publish date and the uh, button text if you want to um, change the uh, button text right and then you can enable commenting and sharing as well so I think one thing is that uh, maybe it would be nice to also hide the publish uh, date option as well so that would be a nice uh, feature and then you got your blog title here and you have uh, what you see is what you get editor right here uh, which is nice as well because they've got iframe, they've got, uh, you can even highlight uh, codes and stuff right here, um, Im insert images. These are all quite straightforward um, editor, uh, text editor features, right? And then you've got a full screen distraction free um, editor as well, okay? So uh, you can also set your own custom styling for your tags right your h1 h2 h3 h4 tags your uh, paragraph tags uh, your quotes and stuff like that and then you got your slug right for the block itself and then the primary uh, SEO keyword uh, other keywords and uh, SEO post title and meta description right so they have a SEO optimizer uh, on page SEO optimizer uh, tool right here so you can actually see your URL score test score sorry title score description score image score and content score right here okay and pretty much that's what 
quick blog does um, it's a very quick video very straightforward um, really easy to set up and uh, you get multiple blocks uh, with uh, the plan that they have right so um, I think this is great if you are going to be putting up some uh, you want a simple way to set up your blocks or you want to add a block feature into the current CMS that you are already using okay so I guess that's all I have to share about quick block overall I think it's a very useful tool um, if you need to add on a block to uh, whatever you're currently using or you want to create your own hassle free block with quick block right so that's all I have to share if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about quick block in the comments below and if you know anyone who could benefit from a cloud hosted embeddable uh, block be sure to share this video with them I'll see you in my next video